G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley Spline Fishing. We specialise in guided tours throughout Victoria, but we also take groups to Alaska, Chile, bone fishing Christmas Island, and our most popular one, New Zealand. So if that's where you want to go, come in and see us at our stores in Bentley and Lumsden. Yep. Arguably one of the world's greatest destinations for chasing trout, New Zealand is a short three hour flight from Australia's east coast. Once in Christchurch, you have the option of the Transalpine rail journey of about three and a half hours through the rural Canterbury Plains and out into the gorges and beech forests of the west coast. Gavin chose to make the journey by road to the town of Moana on the shores of Lake Brunner, where he would catch up with good friend and guide, Brent Beadle. G'day, I'm Gavin Hurley and welcome to another episode of On The Fly. Today we're over in Lake Brunner on the west coast of New Zealand. It's an amazing fishery uh, surrounded by really natural forest. It's a pretty impressive place. Uh, it's, a, it's probably one of the, the best brown trout fisheries in the world and um, fish and game, the average size is about four pound, which is, you know, by anybody's standards, pretty good fish. Uh, we're lucky enough to be with Brent today um, on his little boat called Sneak Up On Him. And we're gonna paddle around the, the edges of um, Lake Brunner and at the relatively high water levels at the moment. So we're gonna throw, at the moment we'll have like a magoo, which is like a, like a streamer pattern. Um, we'll throw that right along the edges because these fish are gonna be right in there looking for perhaps drowned terrestrial um, food items as well as little little smelt patterns as well from the, the natural smelt that live in the lake so uh, yeah hopefully we can uh, drag a few of these big browns out of that timber in there these fish should be right or could be right in at the uh, in the edges or back out, I guess, couldn't they? Yeah, he, um, he was struggling to see them today. Normally, it's a good sight cast around here, but yeah. weave it overcast. Yeah, yeah, sure. They can be in the, up where we were throwing it, or they can be out here in the deep also. You know, but yeah. Obviously, it's more exciting to see them chase your your fly for sure. Fly. Yeah, yeah, grab it. Yeah. And that's normally, I, I, like people um, back home in Australia, woolly bugger associated with just casting a tree, pretty boring at times. Uh, whereas this is completely different. You're, you're hopefully spotting a fish, targeting it, casting to it, retrieving, you watch it come out and take it and you go, well, that's pretty exciting fishing, you know? So uh, yeah. yeah.
And we've come over to uh, the shore on Lake Brunner and uh, the water's right up into the, uh, the forest in there. So the fish will get right up into the, the edge there. And we've got on a magoo, which is a um, just like a little woolly bugger type fly, just a streamer, and that'll imitate like the little minnow patterns that'll they'll get around here or even tadpoles and things. So the fish will just, uh, sometimes you'll see them cruising around. Uh, other times they'll just sit there and, and wait in ambush. And we've got to put that fly right in front of them. And, uh, Hopefully we'll induce a take there. I guess the beauty of this fishing too, Brent, you can uh, do all this, not even get your feet wet. Yeah, that's right, Gavin. Yeah, you can come out in your slippers. Yeah. Uh, you can do, yeah. Yeah. Yep. And good too if you've done a bit of work on the rivers and the legs are a bit tired, you know, or if you're not as young as you used to be, it's quite a good way of still experiencing sight fishing, isn't it? You know, oh, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just about. Um, the water's just a wee bit high today to see them, it's a bit cloudy and it just coloured from all the rain you've had. But normally you see them cruising along here, Gavin, and, yep. as you know, and uh, they'll just come up and grab you dry, or your nymph. Yep. As you say today, we're using a streamer, but uh, all the options are here. And, and you, you see them cruising along, just come up and sip off the top and take the dry. Yeah, yep. Yep. yeah. It was a pretty amazing drive even to get here, like going through Arthur's Pass is uh, pretty amazing scenery, isn't it? Up through the mountains and... Uh, to the forest? Yeah, no, it's, it's um, pretty impressive, right? Yeah. If you haven't been over here before, it's a must to do that. Yeah. There's some great fishing right up the west coast, and good places to stay in. And, and lots of things just, you know, for the, for the partner to do on the day. There's plenty of nice walks, and there's potteries, there's artists, there's all sorts, and yeah, make, make them like them. There we go, yeah. Interrupted by uh, a lovely brown trout there. Sorry yeah. Yeah. And that's what we've been hoping to do. We've got uh, the water right up in amongst these, uh, in the bushes there. And we've been throwing that magoo in amongst them and waiting for one to come out and, uh, and grab it. And they're quite a powerful fish. Quite a powerful fish there. So they'll, when, when, when the, uh, he wants to go back out in the center of the lake, fair enough to, and uh, we'll just let him go. Now we're using a six weight, which is what we sort of always use here, nine foot. Uh, which is ideal for sort of casting uh, and, and reasonable sized fish too, so that's good. And we've also something a little different, quite often we'll use like a, in the bush anyway, like a, um, a car key line. This one's a, a glide, um, it's a semi clear with that, the blue colour which matches pretty well the, uh, the overcast conditions, so it's not going to frighten the fish. And always like to get it on the reel if you can, and that just saves uh, stepping on it at the crucial moment. Oh, and good nick too, I guess after their uh, little bit of a, a spawn, you know, they putting on a, a bit of tucker, you know, there's uh, put on a good condition and plenty of go in them. Yep, yep, no, they're starting to, um, they're starting to feed up pretty good and put a bit of weight back on now, and they are strong. Yes, they yep. Um, they're cunning, they'll fight you to the end and try and weed you, try and get you down the log. You've got to be on the game and, and, and yeah. get, get the line on the real quick. And, yep. Um, and if they want to run, just let them go. Yeah. Beautiful colours, amazing spots. I mean, the uh, I mean they're all different, but a lot of these Lake Brunner fish are pretty, you know. So uh, we'll get that net out and get him in. Head up, beautiful, well done. And just amazing colours and, and spots through there. So they're uh, certainly a predator. Uh, male with his hooked jaw there. 
Uh, and he, he, he'll need to put on a bit of condition, obviously, after spawning. He's lost a little bit, but he loved that Magoo pattern. So uh, that will look like a little minnow or a tadpole or just something getting away, and he certainly jumped on it. So, uh, yeah, good start anyway. So, uh, yeah, that's the first of um, Brent said he's best day's 28, so is that the first of 29? Yeah, 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 we'll yeah. see how we go.